It is so good to be with you all. What an extraordinary crowd. And it was organized in just a few days. It's amazing, amazing. There, there are few issues in Washington that could so easily bring together leaders of both parties and both chambers, but the survival of the state of Israel and her people unites us together, and it unites all Americans, all Americans. Let me be very clear. The United States stands unequivocally with our neighbor, our friend, our ally, Israel. They are they're neighbors in a global sense, that's right. Last week, a bipartisan group of members stood in solidarity on the steps of the House to mourn the loss lives in the October 7th attack and to grieve with the families of Israeli hostages that are still being held in Gaza. We heard heartbreaking and tragic accounts of their kidnappings. And of course, as you know, many of those families haven't received an update on their well-being since that day. As a parent myself, I can begin to comprehend their despair. All of us feel that way. This morning, we watched the horrific film that was produced by Hamas from their own cameras as they committed the assault. It's unspeakable. The auditorium was full of Republicans and Democrats in the House, and they wept as we watched the film together. Most couldn't sit through it. These Israeli hostages were kidnapped in their homes by barbaric Hamas terrorists for simply being Jewish and living in Israel. As Prime Minister Netanyahu says so well, this is a fight between good and evil between light and darkness, between civilization and barbarism. Barbarism. The calls for a ceasefire are outrageous. We stand with you in that. Hamas terrorists waged the bloodiest assault on Jewish lives since the Holocaust, and there are hundreds of hostages, many of them Americans, still stuck inside Gaza. Israel will cease their counteroffensive when Hamas ceases to be a threat to the Jewish state. But Hamas's genocidal and anti-Semitic rhetoric isn't just confined to Gaza, as you know. The war in Israel has awakened an alarming amount of anti-Semitism towards Jewish people here in the United States and across the globe. From the halls of Congress to college campuses, this rise of anti-Semitism must be stopped. We've heard many echo the Hamas rallying cry of from the river to the sea, and I'm convinced that a lot of these college students that are engaging in these protests do not understand that, that is an explicit call for the extermination of Israel. It is happening daily in our country, as you know, and it is unacceptable for Jewish Americans to feel unsafe at home. It is unacceptable for Jewish businesses to face violence, vandalism, and threats. It is unacceptable for universities to allow Hamas apologists to assault and accost Jewish students on campus. It is unacceptable for any political leader in this nation to give credence to this dangerous rhetoric. We can and we must do more to stand with our great ally and friend. And it is my hope that this gathering today serves as a reminder to the entire world, but also to those within our own borders, that the United States stands proudly with Israel and the Jewish people forever, forever. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of this. God bless you.